Leaving Mountain Harbor now. And today, 1,800 miles. Brown Highlands, North Carolina. Oh, I'm out of my mind. I'm exploding with excitement. I'm so stoked. I am so pumped. I needed the zero. I got so much food. I had such a good time. But the people there, the folks there are so nice. The food is awesome. <laughs> and, uh, This is uh, this is the last 400 here, and it's gonna it's gonna be wild. Every step closer is. I'm feeling it more and more, so I am ready. Let's do it. Walking through all these places where you've, where you've been before on a through hike, it's just such a special feeling. Right, right up there on Hump Mountain, I just had such a moment last time. I had such a rough day the day before and I slept way over where you can see the snowy stuff, the iced up trees on Roan High Knob. And I was just having a rough time the day before and I came up from Carver's Gap and it was the most beautiful sunrise and it just totally lifted me up and this was such a beautiful day coming through here and I sat on Hump Mountain, the last peak in the highlands here and I feel like for the first time on the trip in 2019, I actually felt like I was really out here, like doing it. Like I could, like I, like I'd been, like I'd sort of sunk my teeth into this thing a little bit. And it was just a good feeling. And so it's really cool to come back to these places for those reasons and because so beautiful. I mean, come on. I 
just uh I just can't get enough ice it seems it seems that I have ice everywhere <laughs> oh man whoa <laughs> oh man, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Woo. slipped and fell in the mud. It's really muddy. Okay though. Jeez. Going up Roan High Knob. Huge shout out to Marlene for the trail magic. Thank you. It was wonderful. And um, Magnolia, who is uh, also finishing up a southbound from who is finishing up a southbound from last year. And is another Southbender out here with me, which is great. And she had some Tums, which helped quell a stomach ache I was dealing with. So, feeling a little better. It is indeed chilly right now, up at 6,000 feet, just about. And. I think it's gonna stay this way until like tomorrow afternoon. So I'm gonna try and get low tonight just to avoid some of the chilliness, but you all know I don't mind that much. Ha ha, ho ho ho. So that's what's going on. I love it up here because it reminds me of the forests up north, and I love that. <sighs> I remember <laughs> having such a rough time coming up this. I had taken, I think I had just taken a couple Advil like on an empty stomach or mostly empty stomach because I was in pain because I was northbounding and I did not <laughs> have a good time up, up on this climb. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whoo. So, uh, it's a little more pleasant going down this time than it was going up last time. We'll see. And that's not over yet. Could be a train wreck by the bottom here. So, famous last words, right? But yeah, this is really pretty. And oh, the Rhone Highlands today. The Rhone Highlands today. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> 
Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see how crowded the shelter area is. If it's crowded, I'm gonna go a little down the hill to a tent site that supposedly has a spring. But we'll see. I am uh, not opposed to just finding a spot at the edge of camp because honestly, I'm kind of pooped. 25 today over the Rhone Highlands. So. Yeah. Anyway, that's the day. Check in with y'all tomorrow. It's supposed to be another sunny day. Yeah. Good day. Good morning. That was one of the most crowded campsites I've been at so far. Maybe the most. Full shelter and like I don't know, maybe like 10 other tents, at least. Which I know isn't even that crowded. Um, yeah, everybody there was really nice and, I don't know, I don't sleep in the, sh I, ha I don't sleep in the shelters and I haven't since Massachusetts, since I got my hammock, but it's really nice to camp there now, at least before they get too crazy busy because I just love listening to people chit chat and just have some people around when I'm at camp. It's kind of nice after spending all that time alone. I get a lot of alone time during the day still. And I just set my camp up far away. So when I go to sleep, I just go to sleep. But it's nice like when I'm cooking dinner to just have like people chit chatting and be able to chat and listen to all the northbounders talking about northbound things. It's fun, so I really enjoyed that, and now I'm cruising along this really nice trail today, so far. And, what is it, is it Unaka Mountain? Unaka? I don't know, but it's one of the coolest spots on this trail. The forest at the top is like so awesome, and it smells so good, and it's pretty, all these like, like red spruce trees, I think. I'm so excited. I remember being so happy last time I got up there. So, and then I think the goal is to make it past Irwin today because my mom is meeting me tomorrow. Um, she's coming down one last, for one last visitor because when she found out I was doing this, she really wanted to come down while I was in like Tennessee, North Carolina. So. We're making it work. favorite mountains on the trail. Unaka Mountain, I think. Unaka. Something like that. So pretty. Whoa. Look at the green. Look at the trees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! So pretty. Oh, I love, look at it, it's going up the tree. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh.
Whoa. Holy smokes. Wow. That is nuts. Oh, there's Irwin. Whoa. 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 I'm like 22 miles into the day. On the, des the descent into Irwin. <clears throat> and yeah, feeling good. I think I'm just gonna blow right past Irwin because my mom's meeting me tomorrow. So, I uh, don't need to stop in town today. So, we'll see if I make it to the next campsite water source thingamajig. Then it comes out to like a little over 32 for the day. So, we'll see because I feel up to it. I feel up to it. Um, yeah. Time will tell. Oh, hey there, gorgeous. Hi. What's going on? Hmm? Are we out for a while? Are we out for a while? Are we green for a while? <laughs> Leaves. Whew. Coming out of Irwin on the switchbacks. I ran into Miss Janet yesterday evening and she helped me out. I ended up crashing at her place, which she didn't intend on staying in Irwin, but it happened and it was good. So thank you for all the help, Miss Janet. And now I'm up going into the mountains. 24, 25 mile day today to meet my mom at Sam's Gap. So, feeling good. I ate a huge breakfast. <laughs> I had three big chocolate chip muffins, a little blueberry muffin, two bars, two naked shakes, and two little chicken salad wraps for breakfast. So, hopefully I can stave off my hunger for a few hours here. And, yeah, I'm moving along. It's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna get to see my mom at the end of the day. I'm so excited. So, that's it. Big mountains and big switchbacks down here. So, today is gonna be a good day. Almost down in Spivey Gap. About to start the uh, climb up to Big Bald. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a good climb and then downhill to Sam's Gap where my mom will be. I'm excited. So green, whoa, so green, that's awesome, ow. At those mountains, just look at the mountains. The mountains, they're just so proud and oh, oh. isn't it just, just like, mm. 
I love it so much. It's just like right here, you know? It's the best. It's the best. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. This is really pretty. For sure gonna take a break up here before I skedaddle down to meet my mom. This is awesome. Oh, <laughs> so pretty down here. These mountains are just huge. Like, it's crazy. I can't get enough of this. I can't get enough of this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is like just the layers and the colors, like the blues and the just like, oh my gosh. The mountains are just like these big ridge lines that are just so like, just, just, they're just big. They're just so big and it's really great. So I am enjoying being up here. It's wonderful, but I must go down. My mom is gonna be at the bottom soon. So I am going to get to the bottom as fast as I can. Whoo. So I called my mom because I realized I'm getting close and I can tell, I could hear that she was on the trail. So she's coming up to meet me up the trail, which is exciting. Um, she hasn't seen me in a while, so I'm bearded and skinny. So she's gonna really enjoy watching me eat because she's always nervous I'm not eating enough. Typical mom, right? Um, but oh, I'm so excited to see her, she's amazing. She's my mom, she's the best. And yeah, that's it. It's exciting. I'm gonna eat a bunch of food. We're gonna have a good day tomorrow. The weather's gonna be good. Today's been going well. So all good to Sam's Gap today. And a pretty big day. Like 24 and a half it is or something, or 24 or something. I don't know. Decent sized day. So looking forward to the next stretch. And seeing my mom. I'm so excited. She's gonna be so excited. This is gonna be great. Look who I found. <laughs> she uh, came all the way down to North Carolina, Tennessee to come see me. So, yay.